Are there any differences in the process and or outcome between the state of Texas seeking independence and the Republic of Texas seeking independence? President Jarnakey. Well, what that is involved with as a nation that the Republic of Texas is, we must go through international law in order to get our independence returned to us, such as the, uh, the Baltic states did from the USSR, Latvia, Lithuania, Estonia. They want the international route to get their, regain the independence that they had uh, from the USSR. We must therefore do the same basic uh, uh, route that they went. If the state of Texas was to uh, request or go for uh, independence from the United States, I feel that they would have to probably go the, uh, the secession route. Uh, they do not have the standing as a state that we, a nation, have in the international venue. So that would be the difference. Uh, and that's probably as, as good as I can explain it in a short period of time. Thank you, President Jarnanke. Senator Bob Wilson, would you like to add to that? Just uh, a little addition there, and that is simply that the state of Texas is simply a subsidiary of the U.S. federal government, and so it has to ask for anything, and the parent organization, the U.S. government, doesn't have to grant it, doesn't even have to give them a hearing. And so uh, they can't appeal to international law because they were never a nation. We were a nation in every sense of the word. And so we will get this done through international tribunals. Thank you, Senator Wilson. Secretary, Secretary of State Billy Ford. Yes, one, one of the other things that the state of Texas lacks is they lack territorial integrity. And that's one of the main things that sets Texas, the Republic of Texas, or Texas, apart from the state of Texas. We have territorial integrity. And that's one of those treaties that we have that's, um, that's with the United States. It's a, it's a boundary treaty between Texas and the United States. And that's, that treaty, they took away parts of five states to make five other states from that treaty. Uh, it's part of the 1850 Compromise. Uh, we won't go into that now, but one of the, that's the main difference between the state of Texas and the Republic of Texas, or Texas by itself, just called Texas. The state of Texas does not have territory, territorial integrity, and then they also don't have the people. And they also, we all of our land patents and titles are in Austin, Texas. All the other patents for all the other states, Louisiana and Ohio, all of those land patents and titles are in Quantico, Virginia. Our Constitution said, and that's one of the things that they, when, when we were annexed, that they had to take our Constitution, that the lands of Texas would forever belong to the Texian people. So that's, that's the other thing that makes us very unique, is we have that territorial integrity. Thank you. Thank I yield. You. Thank you, Secretary of State Ford. 